last month I was talking to somebody and they were telling me about a sports match and how that sports match attracted a total viewership of 1.5 billion people. So that was all the people that were in the stadium watching the, the match live as well as everybody else that was watching that match on television. And they were fascinated by that fact, uh, you know, because it's, uh, it's, a, it's an amazing fact to think that 1.5 billion people will take the time, maybe four, six, eight hours of their time to watch a live sports match. And I was fascinated with that fact as well, but I think I was fascinated with that fact for a different reason to why he was fascinated. And my reason for fascination is simply this. It is so difficult to get a group of 100 people or a thousand people to come together to work towards something positive like world hunger, or poverty or eradication of crime. It's so hard to get people to come together to protest peacefully towards a worthy cause. Yet it seems that people have no trouble in being able to put aside six to eight hours of their time to watch a sporting match, which is going to at best provide temporary relief and entertainment, but make absolutely no positive change to their long-term life. And, you know, it, it, it begs the question, how evolved are we as a species? And I don't mean this as a personal attack on anybody, but the fact is that nobody right now can deny that there is a lot of problems that exist in our world that really shouldn't be there because, you know, the human species has been around for a few hundred thousand years. And we should have by now worked out a solution where no one should go hungry, that there should be, there should be no human trafficking, there should be no sex trafficking, there should not be the kind of violent crime that exists today. And I think one of the reasons why a lot of these problems prevail is because uh, it's very hard to get people together to work towards a, a worthy cause. However, uh, it's always amazing, it always amazes me that concerts and stadiums are packed today and people find the time and the money and the resources uh, to watch things that cater to their primitive instinct. Yet majority of people are unable to find time and resources uh, or energy to put towards worthy causes. I'm not here to criticize anybody, but the question simply is, how will the world change if we humans who have the ability to create who have the ability to solve problems are still so busy just chasing what fulfills our primitive instincts.